Lad. Oh, Schumacher in the wall, John. Right in front of us, Michael Schumacher is in the wall. He's hit the pit wall. There we see it on television. He came. Oh, it's Josh Verstappen. Sorry, Josh Verstappen's well, in the wall. Well spotted, Allard. And uh, you see Josh Verstappen climbing out. But very heavy contact. Left front corner, left rear corner. And uh, well, the man that was brought back to stand in for the resting, JJ Leto has blotted his copybook there you see the impact look at that now that is dangerous that wheel has flown hopefully it stayed on the circuit we can't really see from our commentary position and that was very very heavy impact indeed and that would be a red flag the session is going to be stopped and Verstappen now makes his way down the pit lane and cameras and media and well, what happened, Jos? That's what everybody's saying. Well, John, I noted this morning in the untimed session that Jos was running over those funny curbs quite a lot uh, on every lap. And it uh, just so happened I was looking half out of the window. And excuses to apologize to Michael Schumacher, but that he basically just understeered onto the curb zones. And then, because of the funny shape, he took off and hit the wall. Maybe we can have a replay from the in car camera. Who knows? Well, you know, when you get into a certain situation, there's no point trying to drive your way out of it. You've got to back off. And we saw what happened back in Barcelona where Andrea Montermini in the Simtek Ford tried to you know, just drive his way out of trouble. And that incident, of course, much more serious. But here in Barcelona, if you run wide, there you see left front, left rear, those BBS wheels, Goodyear tires, and red flag, as I anticipated it was to be... Well, displayed all around the circuit. That means the session will be stopped until Verstappen's damaged car will be removed. And slightly worrying indeed because if a car has got the potential to do what Verstappen did, it's that errant wheel which frightens me because the pits literally, and that's part of somebody's, I don't know which timing can it be it was. McLaren, McLaren be timing, McLaren's. yeah. So danger obvious that no one previously had considered. Well, there is the McLaren timing equipment, TVs, monitors, and that is severely damaged, and that is a very, very frightening sight from my point of view, and I think that uh, consideration is going to have to be given for, not just for the remaining part of this session, but for the future with the particular corner that leads on to it. I think we may well see the need to realign the exit of the corner so as cars are not going to come out very very close to the pit wall as we've been watching over this is the fourth year of the French Grand Prix here in Manicourt you see once again heavy impact and that's about probably 85 90 miles an hour the wheel flies up hits the timing gear now people turning around ducking you can see all the personnel are doing their best they to get out of the way of that errant wheel and tire there's the result fortunately no injury to anybody in the team